What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm over at Trevor's shop and he has a little project for me. What he has going on here is a K24 out of his Civic. He's rebuilding this, but I'm gonna help him rebuild his transmission. So he swapped this to all wheel drive about, what was it, four or five months ago? I think it's almost, almost been a year. Almost been a year yeah. It's almost Man. been a year. So it's actually, the transmission's still good. It's just, we're upgrading it. So we're making probably 600 and some horsepower with engine and drag racing it. And uh, as you guys know, when, you, when you're drag racing it on like a stock transmission, just the gears aren't that strong. Uh, so over here we have a full uh, one through four uh, dog gears made by PBG. And uh, yeah, I've never done it before. I don't think, have you done it before? I mean, I've rebuilt tra transmissions, so I don't think it'll be too, too difficult, but you know, I've never pulled one of these trannies apart and it'll just be kind of an experience. So we'll just get this thing off of this engine because he's gonna rebuild the engine while I rebuild the transmission and just kind of go from there. And this thing's gonna rip. This thing's gonna be. I guess we'll see because they'll have to be secret rips. Or it's gonna have to be like quarantine street rips or something <laughs> like that. Cause like there's no tracks open now, but.
ended up having to take the tranny back apart being because Trevor didn't tell me he went with a larger first gear ratio. So when you do that, it means the gear is bigger on the main shaft. The issue with that, when you're in fifth, this mechanism is for the reverse cog. And when it's in fifth, it's up, meaning that that larger gear actually hits it. So the remedy, as you saw in the video, all you have to do is use a sanding disc, a cutoff wheel. You just grind it down enough so it has like a two or three mil of clearance between that and the gear, and then you're completely fine. So now that that's fixed, I'm gonna put the case back together and put everything back together on the tranny and uh, pretty much remedy this issue. So now we'll have a good tranny waiting for Trevor to finish the engine, and then we could put everything back in the car and just kind of go from there but it's really nice that this thing went together relatively easy. All the gears and everything slid directly on. I mean, it wasn't, that was like the only thing I had to really modify. The transmission is now 100% back together. There are a few little things that you have to know about these. On the back side, as you saw, there's a little retaining clip and that's really important because when you're pulling it apart, you need to have that spread and most of the time they're kind of walked over so you want to center it first then spread it and then pull the top of the case also there are all the you know all these things going through the the tranny case that you do want to remove i would just strip it down if you guys are planning on rebuilding one of these but uh yeah it goes really really easy and once you kind of pull it apart as long as you keep all the parts pretty much in order it will go back together extremely easy uh, one thing is the bearings you'll most likely have to press the secondary shaft bearing off of it or the shaft out of the secondary bearing and then once you get that out everything just kind of just kind of falls off so i don't know i i mean trevor has a brand new tranny and it's a dog box now so it will uh i guess we'll see how it works if you ever gets that engine over there back together because I just had to take it back apart to notch it. Is it rods is it, were too big? They're too, too big. Cool. You, you've never heard that before, though. So, yeah, we got this tranny back together, and uh, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, if you do like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, comment below. See you guys next time.